Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so stinking excited for today's video. We're talking about Charlotte Tilbury. You guys already know, you already know, I love Charlotte Tilbury, like to no end, right? And I just did a video a couple of weeks ago, actually it went up on my channel like last week, about the eyes to mesmerize, these little cream pot eyeshadows here. And I mentioned in that video, I was like, there isn't a pillow talk color. I really wish there was because that is the quintessential Charlotte Tilbury color. Well, we have it, you guys. We got the pillow talk. I don't know. We spoke. She listened. And she, uh, yeah, right, right. She listened to me. There is now a pillow talk color and a walk of no shame color. You guys know I swooped these up like as soon as they were available on her website. These are $34 each and they should be in the same amazing formula as the rest of the Eyes to Mesmerize that I already talked about. If you guys missed that video, I'll link it down below for you. I went through every single color, I swatched them all, I put them on my eyes so you can see what they look like. But in today's video, we're gonna open these babies up, we're gonna swatch them, I'm gonna compare them to a couple of other colors that are pretty similar, I think are pretty similar, and we're gonna do my eye makeup together. So, let's get started. Okay, let's just let's just open Pillow Talk first because you already know, <laughs> I love Pillow Talk anything. Same packaging, and <sighs> beautiful. Mine looks a little melty, like perhaps it melted in transit, it is, the summertime and it is the south. All right, let's open Walk of No Shame, which is like a more kind of deep burgundy, I don't wanna say red, but like a maroonish quintessential color for Charlotte Tilbury. This one looks really melted. Really pretty though. This definitely, I don't think any of the other colors look like this. It's more like a, kind of like a terracotta. Uh, I can't really explain it. You guys just have to see. So here they are up close. This one is Pillow Talk. This one is walk of no shame okay let's swatch pillow talk first this looks a lot like sunset rose which i'm going to compare it to here in a minute but oh so pretty this is more i want to say more pink than sunset rose it doesn't look like there's any micro sparkle in this one. Oh no there is there's like some silver micro sparkle it's not glitter it's not shimmer it's just like it gives it a little bit of a metallic ish like multi-dimension and then let's do walk of no shame yeah this one is totally melted you guys uh so similar but definitely darker more red tones and here are those swatches up close so there's pillow talk and walk of no shame and then just to give you guys an idea of whether or not she's stuck within the like color family of her other pillow talk and walk of no shame products i compared it to the quads so i took the most similar color in each of the quads i do have walk of no shame here and pillow talk here and i also have both of the blushes walk of no shame and pillow talk here and I swatched them all together so you can see. So Walk of No Shame, she's definitely sticking with that like reddish, kind of burnt, uh, very warm tone. There's the eyeshadow, there's of course the eyes to mesmerize, and then there's the blush. So she's definitely sticking in the family. Same with Pillow Talk here. So this is the blush right here, and then here is of course the eyes to mesmerize, and then there's the most similar color in the quad, which is a powder product. This is Pillow Talk lipstick on my lips right now. I don't have Walk of No Shame lipstick, but it's all, I mean, she's doing a really good job of making sure it's all monochromatic, which is great. Okay, last thing I wanna do before I put the product on my eyes is compare these colors to some of the other eyes to mesmerize. So we're gonna get a little bit more Pillow Talk and I'm gonna swatch it compared to, it is like looking in the jars very similar to Sunset Rose, which is right here. Sunset Rose was a limited edition color. I think it is still available on her website, but eventually it will be gone. Oh, okay, so they are different. They're, they're very, very similar, but they are different enough. You can see here, Pillow Talk is much more pink, whereas Sunset Rose has more metallic properties to it. So there's more of that micro sparkle and it has more of like a taupey undertone. Whereas Pillow Talk, I feel like it's just a true kind of mauve pink, but they're super similar. Also, I wanna compare it to Rose Gold. Rose Gold has more gold to it. Again, very similar. I don't think you need all three of these by any means. Sunset Rose is definitely the darkest, whereas Rose Gold is the lightest, and I would say Pillow Talk is in the middle there. And then the last, last thing I wanna compare it to is this Jewel Pot which is a loose pigment in the color Pillow Talk. I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty dang similar. This might be a little bit more sparkly. 
not the same at all. So the Jewel Pot is much less pigmented, has a lot more glitter sparkle in it, uh, totally different. Here's a close up of those. So there's the Pillow Talk Jewel Pot. There's the Pillow Talk Eyes to Mesmerize, there's Sunset Rose, and there's Rose Gold. And then as far as Walk of No Shame goes, I really don't think they're, I'm looking at a whole bunch of them I have open here. I don't think it's similar to really any of them. Maybe Copper Sunrise, so I'll swatch those. That's probably the most similar, but it looks like Walk of No Shame is very, like, matte. There isn't a whole lot of dimension to it. There isn't any micro sparkle in it. It's very much just like a cream shadow. Whereas, okay, now where did it go? I have a whole bunch open on my thing and I think I, which one is it? Mm, okay, here's Copper Sunrise. This definitely has like a more metallic finish to it, duochrome. Um, yeah, so they're, they're slightly similar. They're probably in the same color family, if you wanted to say that, but they're definitely gonna give you different effects on your eyes. Okay, well let's get to getting this on my eyes, shall we? So I'm gonna start with the Pillow Talk Quad. I'm actually gonna go in with a big fluffy brush and this more, whoops, this more like matte pinky color right here. This is the one that I swatched to compare the eyes to mesmerize with. So I'm just gonna put this on my lid to kind of get things started. Okay, I'm gonna go into Pillow Talk because that one is definitely my favorite. This is a flat shader brush. You can absolutely use your fingers with these products. Um, if you don't have a brush like this, they work so well with your fingers, with a fluffy brush, with a flat brush. I mean, they're so easy to work with. The eyes to mesmerize formula is so nice, you guys. It doesn't crease. It doesn't fade, it doesn't smudge, it is just magical. And I'm so glad she's expanding the range. Okay, so I drug it in maybe a tiny bit too far on my inner corner here, but that's okay. These are so easy to work with. I'm not gonna put anything more or anything new on this brush. This is just kind of a clean, well, kind of dirty brush. I'm going to take it and just rub it across the edges of this to kind of buff it out. Okay, I am actually going to go back to my quad and this more like dark brown color here. It's like brown with a hint of pink. I love colors like this and I'm just going to dot some of this on the outer part of my eye just to add a little bit more dimension. I am filming some videos today so I want my eyes to, you know, kind of pop a little bit. So I think this alone already is beautiful, perfect everyday look, even perfect for just like a little bit of something more if you want it just like a pop. I just, I think it's, I love these, I can't say it enough. But I'm gonna add a little bit more just, you know, for the sake of the video. So I'm gonna go in with a more kind of dense blender brush and I'm gonna go back to Pillow Talk just a little bit and I'm gonna put it on my lower lid. And then just to add even more, because again, you could definitely stop at any point here, I'm gonna go back to the quad and this like topper color right here. Mine has a little bit of hard pan on it because I do use it so much. I like to go in with my finger on this one. Now this is gonna be just like a glittery top coat, very similar to the Jewel Pot, where it's not gonna have a whole bunch of pigment, but it is gonna give you just a little bit of glitter. Okay, so here's how we're looking before liner and lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and pop off and just put some eyeliner on and some mascara, and we'll be back for our final thoughts. Okay guys, so here is the final look, and I feel like I say this with every single Charlotte Tilbury video, but she rarely does me wrong. Her products are amazing, I truly believe that. And uh, I love it. <laughs> I love the look, I love the product. I knew I was already gonna love the formula, but I love the color. I can't wait to try out Walk of No Shame. I feel like this is gonna make the perfect just fall look, even like deep summer. Oh, I just, ooh, I'm so excited. But uh, yeah, you knocked it out of the park again, Charlotte. If you're curious, um, I'm wearing black eyeliner on the top and then the Pillow Talk eyeliner in my waterline. So you can see it's just kind of like a, kind of like a raisin, I like to call it, like a raisin plum color. So overall, really, really good. If you guys are curious on my thoughts, I give it two thumbs up. I will link these down below. Currently, they're only available on the Charlotte Tilbury website. Hopefully, they come to Sephora soon. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!